While there are many ways to hack a wireless network, the easiest is simply to trick the user into giving you the password themselves. We'll explore a tool that does exactly that called Wi-Fi Fisher on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. There are a lot of different attacks against Wi-Fi out there, and the majority of them actually use brute forcing in order to get the job done. Now what this means is you're placing a bet on whether someone's picked a lazy password, because if the password doesn't exist in the password list you're using, then you're doing all this brute forcing for nothing. Now because a lot of these techniques won't work, some people get bad results while using them, and the far easier technique is to simply trick the user into giving us the password themselves. Now we can do this by actually creating a fake login page and taking advantage of the fact that the average user doesn't know what the login page for their router looks like. To do this, we'll use a Python program called Wi-Fi Fisher, but in order to get it working, you'll need to have Kali Linux and a wireless network adapter uh, that's compatible with Kali Linux as well. Now this can be a little bit confusing for beginners, so if you're having a hard time deciding, you can check out one of our previous articles on how to select one on Nullbyte. Now, once you're ready to begin, you'll need to put these things together and select a wireless network that you have permission to audit, because this will kick everyone off, so it is illegal to use against networks that you don't own. Once you're ready, then we can begin. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking, and as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. So that's it. We got this person's password. It wasn't that hard. It looks pretty legitimate. And the average person expecting a firmware update, well, they might be put off by the 2016. But aside from that, this is a pretty legitimate way of getting someone to think that they just did something good. So, uh, you know, they're like, cool, I care about security. I updated my router today. Like, I did a great job. But on the attacker side, we've successfully tricked that person into thinking that they were interacting with their router when, in fact, they were interacting with our computer the entire time. Wi-Fi Fisher is a fascinating tool because it actually doesn't hack Wi-Fi at all. In fact, it's a social engineering attack against the fact that most people don't know what the login page looks like to their own router. Now, this is a pretty common attack, so you should be careful if this situation ever happens to you. Suddenly, your router or Wi-Fi cuts out, and then there's a Wi-Fi network with the exact same name, but open, nearby. If you see this, you should definitely assume that someone's trying to steal your Wi-Fi password and act accordingly. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any thoughts or ideas for upcoming episodes, send me a message on Twitter, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.